Okay guys, so without further ado, we had our Cambridge Tesafon uh, last week and that's all been and gone now, so what I want to do today is a technical overview of the synchronous rotary spark gap Tesla coil and uh, a demonstration afterwards just to see it running um, that's pretty much it, so without further ado, I will uh, get on to the actual demonstration guys Okay, so you might recognize this coil from last year. This was my static gap Tesla coil that I took to Cambridge Teslafon 2015. Worked pretty well for a static spark gap coil. Uh, this year I've modified it using the synchronous rotary spark gap there, which is taking place off the static spark gap now. Uh, what this basically does is allows me to switch at either 100 BPS, which means I can switch at my peak positive waveform and my peak negative waveform allowing more current to flow, so I'm switching at maximum values or I can switch at 200 BPS which means I can switch two times per positive waveform and two times per negative waveform Just it, it just allows the capacitor to charge that little bit more power going in therefore a little bit more output it's debatable whether 100 or 200 is actually better we might do a video later on based on that subject so without further ado guys, I'll actually do you a demonstration of this running just now and then we'll go over the actual components in a little bit more detail. Synchronous rotary spark gap tesla coil, take one. Okay guys, so as you can see here we're behind the Tesla coil now. Over here we've got the Maxwell Pulse Capacitor, that's a 30 nanofarad, 35 kV uh, laser power supply capacitor. That is now larger than the original 20 nanofarad capacitor to allow for the synchronous rotary spark gap. Over this side we've got the power factor correction capacitor, that's a 35 nanofarad, 400 volt motor run capacitor. That is purely just changing the, the phase angle going into the Tesla coil and just making it that little bit more efficient. Underneath that you can see the line filter that was there the year before and also behind that we've got the 50 milliamp 10 kV neon sign transformer. Now connected to the Tesla coil is the rotary spark gap. 
This is a 3000 RPM motor switching 10 kV 200 times a second if I got it in 200 BPS or 100 times a second if I've got it in 100 BPS. It's a two pole motor rated at 0.37 kilowatts or 0.5 horsepower. The inside rotor is modified using the mill. I've, rotor, I've machined two flats at 40% on either side into the rotor and then reassembled it back in together and made up the the disc on the front there uh, we've got the aluminium heatsink posts which hold the tungsten electrodes, their quarter inch tungsten which then transfers the power into the outside aluminium ring then back to the other side and then transfers it back over to this aluminium heatsink post and that goes back out and into the coil there which pulses the, the primary up to the secondary and then out of the top load okay so in the phase controller panel you'll see that it looks like there's quite a lot going on but really there's only two basic components that I'm using which is to adjust the, the phase angle one here being the variac which is basically a variable inductor I've wired it in series as a series ballast which is exactly the way you're not supposed to wire them but in this case we are going to use it that way we also have a 22 microfarad motor run capacitor in here that's working in conjunction with the variable inductor which allows the phase to change you'll see also I have a timer in here this timer is a bypass timer so once you turn the motor on this will actually bypass the inductor for about three seconds before it decides to switch allowing it to swap on to phase control basically the reason for is the motor doesn't usually like to start with the phase controller engaged so that just a, is a bypass you've got the swap over relays contactors going on in here and a bit of basic motor protection just as a nicety on the front we have a start, a stop this light here tells you if the motor uh, the motor has tripped here also it tells you if the motor is not ready by coming on straight away and then it will it'll, it'll flick off once the phase control is engaged we also have a key switch here just for safety purposes as you can see off it goes so if we look on the inside now keeping in mind this is live guys so I won't be touching anything and these aren't electric proof gloves as we know so I won't be touching anything I will literally just be pressing the green button over the top there and you will see the timer start going it will get to the end and you'll see the contact just change over so I'll just do that quickly there you go boosh off it goes and then adjust the phase angle it sounds lovely beautiful So that's the phase controller guys. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of the synchronous rotary spark gap tesla It's a bit of a mouthful to say I know, but at least hopefully you're a little bit more clued up about how that works and how that increases the performance compared to a static spark gap tesla So stay tuned for my up and coming videos guys. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all again next time. Cheers guys. <laughs> yes. Switchy offy.